today I want to show you how you can make an inexpensive training dummy using household items. Not one like this, uh, but something that you can move around easily, pack away easily, and you can use for online classes, whether you're teaching or taking part. All right guys, so this is gonna look familiar to you, but what we can do is we can adapt it and use that as a training aid, okay? So all we're gonna need is some sticks. If you don't have sticks, there's other ways you can improvise, and then you're gonna need some cable ties, all right? Once you've got all that, you can put it together in a way that resembles a wooden dummy. Don't be afraid about it being so wide at the top, okay? There's a way to fix that also. Okay, so let's take a closer look and I'll show you how to put it together. You can see if we take a closer look that there's cable ties on various parts of the sticks, okay? So I've got one here at the back, another one here near the end, the edge of the, um, the clothes horse itself. The, the sticks extend out approximately the same length as they do on wooden dummies. If you're unsure as to what that would be, use your own body. This has to fit you. It's got to be customized, okay? So firstly, the height of it should be around your shoulder height, okay? There's a way of adjusting these, okay? I'll show you that later. But when it comes to the length of this, go by your own forearm, okay? Approximately, okay? So that's a good starting point. And you can always take the uh, cable ties off and start again, okay? If you don't have any Carly or Screamer sticks, you can go down to the local hardware store and get yourself some PVC piping. Uh, be sure to get everything measured first, okay? The rule is to measure twice, cut once, okay? So this length here, as we know, should be like from the elbow down to the, the wrist or fist. And the rest of it should be enough that you can uh, be fastened here securely with cable ties okay so make sure you get all that done first these do give you a little extra uh, space to dry things on but even with the sticks on there as a wooden dummy right it does pack away quite nicely and you can put it away and save yourself some space okay but that said right if we are talking about getting it onto the right height, as I said here, um, the height is a little bit lower than my shoulders, but it's also a bit too wide for me, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a connection between the two sections here to squeeze them together, making it more narrow and more um, taller, okay? Something to note is the section down here will only allow you to um, make it taller and more narrow to a certain point. If you need it to go further, unfortunately, you're gonna have to break these bits off from the bottom, okay? But even if you did that, using the cable tie section at the top, you can still use it as um, a clothes dryer and you can still put, put it away quite compact. Okay, so I've done that and you can see how these arms are closer together now and it's at a better height for me, okay? So now we can take this thing here, all right, and use it as a training aid, whether we're teaching classes or if we're taking part. Uh, all I gotta do is snip those cable ties and then it can pack away like we saw earlier. Okay, so what, as you can see, what I've done is I've made the whole thing black and I've made the, uh, I've put uh, tape over the sticks and the frame just so it's more presentable and the arms are more visible in classes that I teach online. If you want to know more about those, just go to my website, hybridcombat.net, and you'll be able to find the link to join. Uh, what we can also do, okay, is we can add gloves onto them if we wanted to, just to give ourselves uh, an idea of what's going on. But bear in mind, this is quite thin, okay, a lot thinner than people's arms. Uh, you may want to reinforce it or tape the gloves on. It's not the same as a training partner, but when we're locked indoors, yeah, you can work all these things and then get your training in. Additionally, what I'm gonna do is tie a kettlebell to it. Okay, so you can see there at the bottom, I've got a kettlebell anchoring everything down. So that makes it a little bit more stable for me to use in teaching my classes or if you had one at home, obviously, to use for yourself. And you can go the extra mile if you want to, and just make yourself an extra attachment, 
and this can be a reference for the leg that you get on most uh, conventional wooden dummies. Okay? Obviously, it's not going to take uh, the kind of impact that a, a heavy bag will, but that's a different tool, and this is a different tool. Furthermore, if you are um, an, a Filipino martial arts practitioner, you can again use this um, for your stick work. Okay, I mean this is like the stab down the center, of course, but if you use a glove like we did earlier, what I've done is I've fed the stick through, okay, on the glove, okay, all the way through like that, so that's quite secure. Okay, so all I'm going to do is push this on, and of course, as I said, you can secure it with some tape, okay, to stop it swinging around, or to make it more stable. I'm just going to leave that there for now for the purpose of this video. But once you've got that there, this is all your different defences that you can work, okay, you can play, you can do different angles with your defences in, okay, and, and then look, even twist it round to uh, simulate the disarm positions that you might have, okay, and then of course you can put them onto different parts, you can add arms, connections, put gloves everywhere, sticks everywhere, whatever way you want to do to improve your training at home. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in and watching the video uh, until the end. Please like, share and subscribe. And do share what you've done at home yourselves, okay? Because this is just one option, okay? You can modify it, you can do something completely different. Uh, share the love so we can all train a bit more creatively at home, okay? Thank you very much guys, take care.